You might say the dogs here are jumping for joy over their new digs. Dogs. Cats. Bunnies. Of all sizes. Even rats. Animals in southeastern New Hampshire have a brand new temporary home while they await their forever families. It's been a very long process and you know sometimes we had ups and downs where at times we didn't know if it was ever going to come to fruition. The Pope Memorial Humane Society in Dover is the new building that replaces the old Cochico Valley Humane Society. That was an old barn. It was cramped and never enough space for the animals. But it took longer than we had hoped but in the end taking our time being able to do it right for the animals in Stratford County and the neighboring counties is what really mattered to us. This brand new facility is 11,000 square feet, every inch of space dedicated to providing a safe haven for animals. And it's due to the generosity of 90-year-old Lyman Pope of Jackson. Lyman Pope is an entrepreneur who made his money in real estate. He pledged a million dollars to make this building a reality. I've always known him having a dog. Um, we have dogs now, you know, every Pope and Pope family has a dog. Lyman's granddaughter, Caroline Pope, says her grandfather has a particularly soft spot for German Shepherds. His new pup is named Sadie. You always see Lyman with a German Shepherd. Um, his German Shepherd, Max, passed away this past spring, and he's recently adopted a new German Shepherd. So for him, for him being 93 years old, having that constant companion and, and a best friend is something that um, he needs. Um, at this time of life, when he was younger, uh, every, every decade of his life, he's had a shepherd next to him. The private nonprofit was founded in 1984, but had been outgrowing its space at the Stratford County Complex for years. I was always very surprised at how clean it was and how you know presentable it was considering that we were in an old piggery um, a place that had been run down and should have probably been taken down decades before that the new shelter boasts a cat room with lots of natural light where folks can bond with their new feline family member a surgical suite where veterinarians and vet techs patch up those pets who are sick or that have been abused or neglected like Jaws, a lovable pit bull mix who arrived here with quite a story. Here at the Pope Memorial Humane Society, every animal that comes through the doors gets complete medical attention. Take Jaws here. Jaws was seized from a meth lab. His lungs were damaged, his teeth rotted from his environment. But thanks to the folks here, Jaws is on his way to making a full recovery. Aren't you, boy? Yeah. <laughs> We end up taking a lot of the animals that other shelters may not take. We take behavior um, animals. We also have animals that have a lot of medical issues that are above and beyond just baying and neutering and doing some dental work. So um, we actually work with um, other shelters and other rescues across the country to either bring in animals or have them help us and take animals out. We board some animals and get them special training so that they can be adopted. The facility also takes in pets that people must surrender. On this day, the owners of this 11-year-old Chihuahua sadly had to give their dog away because they had to move and could not take him. He was surrendered today, so what happens is it's very stressful, as you can see when they first come in. The pup will get a medical checkup and behavior assessment. After that, it will be up for adoption. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. They're small, so there's a lot of barking and larger dogs, and so that definitely, um, we have to house them to make them most comfortable here. The Pope Humane Society relies heavily on volunteers. We have very limited budget, um, not a whole lot of money to go around, so when we have people who can come in and help us to walk the dogs and feed them and hang out with the cats and clean their cages and take care of the small animals, like there's so much for everybody to do. It's touching, it really is, to think that after all of these years of working on this, that Mr. Pope came in and literally changed 
finally changed the lives for the animals here in Stratford County. A new home made possible by a man whose powerful bond with dogs goes back a lifetime. You know, with that wealth, he chose to do this. When looking at his life and what he wanted to do with um, his success and who to share it with, it was really obvious that he wanted to give back in terms of, of, of this. So how can I help animals succeed?